Good morning and welcome to Connections pre-show. My name is Layla. And I am Andy. And we are so grateful that you are joining us today. Good yes, we morning. Are. Good morning. Welcome back. Thank you. We missed you. I missed you guys. You'll miss me next week. Yeah. I, it's payback, right? We're going to talk about it <laughs> later, but yes. Yes. There is a reason I'll be gone, but. A, a reason for the season of Andy <laughs> never being here. Just kidding. Ouch. Okay. Oh, I'll we'll see you guys later. Throwing out the punches. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's hope your punch lines are better than Ooh. that, right? For your jokes. Jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Get it put in my place. <laughs> All right. Before we get started, as always, I want to direct you to our QR code. That is our digital connections card. We would love to hear from you. Again, whether you've been watching for a while or if you've mm -hmm. been just, this is your first time, we'd love to hear from you. Yes. How was your week? It, well, started off a little rough because a little we had rocky patch, yeah, huh? the <laughs> sickness going through my family. And then, of course, I got it. Of course. Because, you know, that's what I deserve after taking care of everybody else who's sick. <laughs> Isn't that how it is? You're like, yes. <laughs> whenever it happen, happens in our house, and I'm just, for some reason, my nose, the faucet is turned on. Yeah. And that's it. Everything else, I'm fine. Like, But I'm just like, oh, great. It's going to do that this morning? Thanks. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah, it's, it's one of those, like, you keep dodging it and dodging it, and you're like, I'm free. And then I that know. last day, you're just like, I know. wait a minute, something feels off. And then the right? next day, you're just like, nope. Yep. I know. I was like, ooh, I'm you invisible. Thought, <laughs> you thought you got out alive, yeah. but the cold got you. <laughs> yep. The snot's like, nah. <laughs> well, we are glad that, you're, that you and your family Thank are you. feeling better. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good. But, um, yeah, and then I got to uh, go on a date last night Ooh. with the mister. Yeah. yeah. Where'd you guys go? We went to the Melting Pot in Grand Rapids, <laughs> which was our first fondue or fun fondue new event experience. Of <laughs> so. so tell me so tell me about the Melting Pot. I've never been. Um, so, I mean, it's basically like all of your food is with like some type of fondue type of thing. So okay. like our appetizer, you get to pick from different like fondue cheeses. Okay. So do they bring them out to your table as yeah. your stuff comes? Okay. Yeah. And then it, there's like a little electric heating thing on the table. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I, it was just really So you basically neat. have to prepare your own food? Yes. Um, I'm out. Yeah, well, but... It's, but no, I'm sure it's fun because it's different like than just... You just, like, stick it in, like, <laughs> to the, to the, the broth stuff. Yeah. Oh. Um, and then they had, like, a rescue spoon, which is what I needed because, like, my things oh, kept, kept falling off. <laughs> <laughs> they fell they off have the a little... rescue spoon. <laughs> They're just going to start calling it the Layla spoon. <laughs> I know. <laughs> like, look, I at that, like, look at that. Look at that Layla over there. This is so embarrassing. <laughs> Pardon me. Excuse me, ma'am. What's your name? <laughs> Layla? Okay, thank you. Why? No reason. <laughs> just so I gotta put this thing right it's here. It's the spoon. So like, we've never seen somebody lose so much stuff in the fondue. <laughs> that would be me too, because yeah. I'd be like, I think it's done, and then I'll quote. Where am, oh, yeah, I need the Layla spoon. Well, part of it was because I got like some of the raviolis. Oh, yeah. Those don't stay on the little stickers very no, well. No, those like can be very, do. yeah. So, okay. I mean, I, the steaks. So they have on. everything. Pasta, steak, meat, Yeah, desserts. lots of seafood options, okay. like lobster. Well, so not lobster, what'd you but have? like shrimp. Um, I had steak Ooh. and then a ravioli and a pot sticker, like a chicken pot sticker. Okay. And they had what different about dessert? sauces. Did you put chocolate on something? Um, yeah. And just so many good things. They had like ri Rice Krispie treats. They had pound cake, brownies. Uh, marshmallows like covered in Oreos and all these things that you can dip into these what? yeah you what? have to go it okay. is an experience right. in itself okay now I'm like super hungry <laughs> like, we'll go with you sometime how's that yeah we'll make it a day night I love that idea all right but well, hey. wait how was your week oh my week was good I'm here Not talking much. about all the fondue stuff well because it, it's fondue <laughs> fondue <laughs> yeah so did you do anything fun uh well no I mean well, yes Yes and no. It was kind of a normal week in terms of just not much going on, thankfully. Yeah. Work's been been busy. Yep. We've been changing some things up there in terms of like behind the whole scenes thing. So that was that was fun. I was like spent Monday just trying to get it. Or sorry, Tuesday, because we were off Monday. Mm -hmm. My company considers a holiday. Thank yeah, us too. But Tuesday I got online and I had to like go through and reset everything and was just having issue after issue. So got that all squared away. Monday so we're good. The most Monday the is the Tuesday, Monday is Tuesday ever. ever. <laughs> Those are the worst. Yep. But other than that, um, Friday night. Went to the chili cook-off here, which yeah. we'll talk about here shortly because we're going to kind of recap some stuff. There's not as much news coming up because we had, man, event after event yeah. after event after event. We still have stuff coming up, but there's a little there's a little break for mm -hmm. connections. So we're going to spend some time here just talking about all the recap, all the stuff we've done. But yeah. do you have a joke for us or you have something fun we can I talk about sure a little bit? I sure do. I mean, not that we, what we've been talking about hasn't been fun because yeah, it's, it's fun do. <laughs> People are like, yes, we get it, Andy all right, and Layla. Well, all right. <laughs> all right. So today's joke, I thought I would, embra would embrace the snowy weather because okay, yeah, Michigan decided to go back into winter because we were kind of confused for a few weeks, right? <laughs> like, like, here's a 
bunch of snow, and then it's going to be fall mm -hmm. or spring. Yeah. <laughs> or fall spring. Yes. Yep. So now we're back to full on winter. So. Well, it, yeah, but it's not. It's not not supposed to snow that much. It's just hit this morning. And it's supposed to stop. So. Okay. But we'll see. Okay. Yeah. Because that. I mean, honestly. Next weekend would be great if there was snow because it's not really yes, snow camp without snow. But that's we'll get true. That. That's true. So today's joke is okay. about a snowman. Okay. All right. Did you hear about the lisping snowman? <laughs> no. He came. He thaw. He conquered. <laughs> 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 this is like one of my favorites. <laughs> he thought. He thought. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's pretty good. I'll give you that. Ha. I told you, new year, new me. I won't just sit there and stare at the camera. I might we, give a pity. <laughs> I need like a, we should start doing like a rating, you know, like, Ooh, okay. like judging cards. Consider it done. I'll, yeah, I can search through them. I'll have one through 10. All right. One that's like, please leave. <laughs> no, there, there might even be negative numbers I can put there in there go. for jokes a bit. Okay. Huh. Awesome. All right. Some recent events that we had. Yes. We had, let's go in order. We had the, uh, actually, the women's event. Yeah. That which was a pretty cool potluck from what I heard. People could show up, mm -hmm. ring. Were you at that? I wasn't. No. I can't remember was, why I wasn't able to go. That's okay. Hey, we yeah. can't, that, here's the best part about it. We can't make every single right. event. But yeah. we talk about them here. Mm -hmm. We recap them here. Yes. Our social media does a phenomenal job of recapping of. everything. And it makes it look so much better. Yeah. Just in terms of. How our social media guru makes things look so yeah. good. I try to post something on Instagram or whatnot, <laughs> and I feel like a complete dummy because I'm just like, I liked it a lot. And the it picture was good. looks like, yeah, duh. but she's just, her's just so yeah. great. In fact, it almost makes it feel like you were there because <laughs> exactly. there's so many great pictures yep. and so. details and information. Exactly. But, and I saw lots of great things posted mm -hmm. about the cook off. Yep. Or not the cook off, that's later on. But later the potluck. On. Yep. Yeah. The food looked delicious and it looked yep. like everybody was having a good time. Which and is what the women's group strives yes. for. Yes. I know from uh, being a husband to yes. somebody who's very involved in yes. the women's group very committed. that their main goal is to create events that people want to go to that are just fun and mm -hmm. give women a chance to yeah. talk with people they might not get to talk with yep. on Sundays or throughout the week because yeah. everybody's busy, yeah. but it's nice to have a time where they can set aside, come here, not yeah. worry about anything else, and just for a couple hours, just enjoy yeah. company, make some new friends. Exactly. Yep. yep. Be yourself. And yeah, it's really important to make relationships outside of, you know, coming to church every Sunday. You I don't agree. really get that opportunity, right? Because you shouldn't be talking too much while you're listening to the Exactly. We should be sermon. listening to some, yeah. Sometimes we need some, to shut up and let Dave yes, talk. Yes, sometimes. <laughs> but yeah, and I'm looking forward to the upcoming events. We have, you yep. know, Sherry and Angie do such a great job planning these yep. things. And then they really are asking for other ladies within the group to to participate and collaborate yeah. too. So it's yeah. just and a very welcoming environment. I know from firsthand experience if there's something you want to have done and you have a passion for it mm -hmm. talk to them and maybe yeah. you know they can get it working and they can yeah. help you guys spearhead that so yes, yeah it could be absolutely. great absolutely all right then we had the blood drive which yeah. i was able to go to i know i missed the last one I, I because i was sick pictures. but thankfully this one yeah, yeah i was yeah we were there so um it Oof. was pretty busy throughout from what i heard most of the day yeah um i won you won Speed the race? Oh, yeah. It I was wasn't even ask. close. I sat down. <laughs> you and smoked her. <laughs> I sat, you know, sat down to the squeeze one, two, three, and she went, ooh, you got a vein. I oh, said, oh, all right. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. I'm like, that's the only thing I got, apparently. <laughs> Next time, Andy, will get you. Uh, but it was weird. Towards the end of mine, mm -hmm. it kept, like, saying slow drip oh. or whatever. So oh. she kept coming over and just, she's like, you moved your arm. I was like, I didn't think I did. So I had to sit there and turn my arm and my shoulder was getting tight. I was like, hurry. Ah. But I looked <laughs> oh. over and it kept going 498, 495, 498, 496, 498, 499. I was like, just, just <laughs> let me be done, please. I'm trying to get blood here. <laughs> Well, I'm so glad that you were able to go this time. And I have got, seen so many like alerts about us being in a crisis with, you know, needing blood donations. So thank you to everybody who came out and participated and, yep. and donated their blood. And can't wait to have the next event. We, I think we do that about every eight weeks, I, I believe, so. here at yep. Connection. So if you missed this time, don't worry. There'll be another upcoming opportunity where we can suck your blood. Yep. <laughs> so uh, we're going to take a quick break because you've heard us talk way and not long enough. Yep. We're going to turn it over to Lexi out in the field. She's going to have a question for us and talk to people in our church. And when we come back, we're going to answer that too. Take it over, Lex. 
Good morning, Connections. So we are in a series here at Connections called Breathing Room. And today, Pastor Dave talked about Sabbath. And he challenged us to take one day a week to practice Sabbath. So we're going to kind of get a read on the people in the church and if they practice Sabbath and kind of their thoughts on that. So we're going to start over here at the Welcome Center. Hey, good morning, guys. I am coming to talk to you for a little bit. Okay. Okay. So our breathing room message that series we're doing here today pastor dave talks about sabbath do you practice sabbath well i do because i work at a school so it's pretty easy sunday is kind of our day to come to church we usually go to lunch and you know just run errands so sunday is pretty much our sabbath yes and i i, I take a day off during the week that yes so i take a day off during the week i work saturdays but then i spend sunday with my wife that's awesome to hear because I feel like Sabbath is something that can oftentimes be so hard that I definitely struggle with that big time because, yeah. So it so happens that Sunday is usually our Sabbath. <laughs> That's awesome. And do you guys, like, feel better when you get your Sabbath in? It's also a lot easier because we have, we're empty nesters now, so our kids are gone, so it makes it even easier so, to... Yeah, so on the Sabbath, you can rest and relax <laughs> yeah, and yeah. recharge. Gotcha. Nice. Well, thanks, guys. We're going to go on to the next person. We're going to come over to Laura at the doors. Hey, Laura. No. Good morning. No. Our Connections family just wants to see your lovely smile and your <laughs> lovely face. How are you doing this morning? Good. How are you? Good. All right, so I have a question for you. Answer. It's about you. Okay, so today, Pastor Dave's message, our series about breathing room and kind of making some space, he talks about Sabbath today. Okay. Do you take a Sabbath day? No. You don't take a Sabbath day? No, I don't. I should, I guess. And I'll learn today that I probably should. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, that's Dave's challenge for you to, this week is going to be to take that Sabbath day. And I think maybe we'll talk to you next week and see when, once you take your Sabbath day how God's working in your life. And okay, I'll I'm, be here next I'm week. Gonna, we're going to meet back with her next week and and see how how that goes. Okay. I'm going to turn it back over to Andy and Layla. Do you two take a Sabbath day? If so, tell us a little bit about that. Thanks, Lexi. Thanks. I take three. No, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what this term is. Sabbath, Sabbath. day? Is yeah. that a, such a thing for a mom? Oh, for a mom? Probably not. No. Um, but no, but we should. You know, yeah. it's a, we're, yeah. we're, you know, God, I mean, if God, the creator of all things mm -hmm. rested, me as Andy, the creator of nothing, should rest. Yes. <laughs> and follow suit with what God done. Yeah. But, I'm really looking forward to hearing today's me too. word and yep. um, the message from Pastor Dave. But yeah, I want to practice this more. It's really hard. It's really hard for me to turn off my mind, even if I am literally, you know, taking a break. I just... It's, it's hard constantly. for me to turn on my mind yeah. sometimes. Yeah. We are very opposite. <laughs> we are very opposite. We work great. So we have some cool stuff coming up. I mentioned I'm not going to be here next week. That's because myself, Perry, and Josh are taking some of our youth group yes. to Winter Blitz. That's uh, still, there's still spots open. This is grades 6 through 12. Uh, the cost is $50, which is like way less than half of what camp used to be, which is yeah. awesome that we can do that for everybody. There's still limited spaces available. So we want to make sure you guys sign up on our website through the events link. Um, you can register there. If you have any questions about cost or things like that, if cost is an issue, reach out to Josh Ritchie, our, our uh, youth pastor. Mm -hmm. We have some possible scholarships that we can Ooh, help. So we want, wonderful. we want as many kids to go to camp and we don't want yes. anything to get in the way of that. Yes. Possible. So, so this is why you're excited about the snow. This is why I kind of, yes, kind of why I was kind of excited about snow. <laughs> so we also have a new two connections dinner, dinner coming party. up with one of our one of our favorite families, the Woolheises. Yeah. Um, so they put this on. Why don't you go ahead and quickly talk about it? Because yes. I talked a lot today. So the next one is coming up on February 10th. Um, you can sign up through our website, <laughs> my3c.org, or you can go through our church app and click on the events tile. This is an absolutely amazing event to consider or if you are relatively new here at connections you'll be able to meet other new uh, friends or maybe even family for that matter yep. um, that are just joining connections for the first time too there is usually a rotating staff member that will come so you'll have some time to meet them and mm -hmm. in a little bit more of an intimate setting where you yep. know you have some more time to talk to them one-on-one -on -one. so highly recommend that you consider this if you are new if you yep. have any questions, you can always scan the QR code or, you know, like Andy said earlier, find one of the staff members and, yep. and 
pass those questions along. Yep, and this, this ties into all the stuff that we've been doing recently because Connections Goal is we exist to connect as many people as possible to God, to others, and to their purpose in life. Yes. And our purpose in life today is to worship God and to enjoy Dave's message about the Sabbath. So why don't yes. you guys pay attention? We're going to turn over to the band. Have an awesome week. Bye, guys. Bye.